as it continues to devour Palestinian lives in the Gaza Strip, U.S. President Joe Biden urges that the Israeli war machine still be given more time. I think they have to give this just a little bit of time, Biden told The New Yorker in an interview that was published on Monday. The comments came as the Palestinian death toll from an October 7 present genocidal war by the regime against Gaza crossed the 30,500 mark. The regime launched the war following Al-Aqsa storm, a surprise operation by Gaza's resistance groups including Hamas against the occupied territories that was staged in response to intensification of Tel Aviv's decades-long campaign of occupation and aggression against Palestinians. Apparently trying to justify Tel Aviv's resolve to keep up the military onslaught, Biden said, the pressure on the leadership to move with every ounce of capacity against Hamas is real. Israel has vowed not to stop the aggression until the realization of its declared goals, including destruction of Hamas, which many dismiss as unattainable. The U.S. president meanwhile alleged, I think you're going to see, I'm praying you're going to see, a significant downturn in the use of force. On January 26, the International Court of Justice, the United Nations' top court, ordered the Israeli regime to take all measures within its power to prevent genocide in Gaza. The regime, however, has significantly ramped up its strikes across the coastal sliver ever since. It has also vowed to go ahead with a ground offensive against the southern Gaza city of Rafah, which has come to host more than 1.5 million of the territory's 2.4 million strong population who have fled the ravages of the war. Biden claimed, however, I don't want to see any Palestinians killed. I think that it's contrary to what we believe as Americans. As part of its consistent political patronage for the regime, the US, which is Tel Aviv's main benefactor, has so far vetoed three United Nations Security Council resolutions that have called for implementation of an immediate ceasefire in the Israeli onslaught. The Israeli aggression also enjoys unreserved military and intelligence support on the part of Washington. Supporters grow weary of Biden, count us out Joe. Last month, more than 100,000 people voted uncommitted in Michigan's Democratic primary in attempt to push Biden on the issue. Our movement emerged victorious tonight and massively surpassed our expectations. Tens of thousands of Michigan Democrats, many of whom who voted for Biden in 2020, are uncommitted to his re-election due to the war in Gaza, tweeted the group, Listen to Michigan, which spearheaded the movement in less than a month with very little financial resources. President Biden has funded the bombs falling on the family members of people who live right here in Michigan, people who voted for him, who now feel completely betrayed. President Biden, listen to Michigan, count us out, Joe.